Looks like we're back here at the homestead, guys. It's been a while. I was gone on my first vacation in a long time in Hawaii, but we're back. We're, wait, hold. What are you doing with my staff, dude? Uh, oh, is this yours? What are you doing with my staff? <laughs> Just this guy, I go for I go for <laughs> eight days, and he tries to steal the Dragon Daddy K staff. It's unacceptable. <laughs> but what is acceptable is today we're gonna take a look at the garden. We're gonna do some chores with you guys, kind of assess what's going on. And there's a lot of work to do, so come along. So here we are in the backyard. It's come a long way since you probably saw it last during our berry bonanza, berry fever episode. Let's just assess, kind of Jacques, what's what's happening in the sure. backyard. So last time we planted out these random beds, <laughs> yeah, remember? Kind of a random mix. Yeah, but they're starting to look fine. Like yeah, the, totally. these two tomatoes, the eggplants finally popped off. Eggplants really filling in nicely. It they're... takes a while. Yeah, they like the heat. They like right? the heat. So... The heat wasn't here for a while. Fortunately, we do have a sunny day here in June. Over here, the peppers, again, they took a little bit of time and, and now they're really starting to pop. This the shishito is going off. Doubled. Yeah, I don't know like what's happening there, but that one's going absolutely off. Now you will see a couple gaps here. So this one right here, I technically planted some potatoes in here, but I don't want to grow those throughout the summer. So I'm going to dig those up and we're probably going to put some okra in this bed today. Over here, Jacques, I'm, I'm curious what we think. So we could put something else here. We actually yeah. have more peppers from our That's friend true. Jim Duffy. Yeah. So we have a couple, couple rare peppers. Maybe we'll do yet another pepper bed, <laughs> but I actually want to show you, come over here. We have quite a bit of peppers going here now. Yeah, this is the pepper bed for the season. So I did three rows on the outside, the middle, and the inside edges of this bed. And then I did a crisscross of zinnias throughout. Oh, that's gonna look so nice. And I did pro cut orange, yellow, pink, and I think maybe white or, or basically four different colors and they rotate the, the whole way around. That's awesome. Uh, and I spaced these, I would say somewhat aggressively on the peppers. Yeah. But we'll keep them. I think we'll, that's good. We'll keep them well pruned. Totally. Mulched it, put it on irrigation. You guys saw that pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, honestly also though, I found that the peppers do better when they're closer together. Did you really? I think like yeah. they like their little microclimate that they yeah. make. Yeah. So well, they certainly don't bush. Work. They don't bush as much as tomatoes yeah. anyways. So. The tomatoes are in. So I think first tour Jacques, yeah. we probably need to string up this with one more row on the floor to weave and start hitting the below with a little cleanup pruning. Definitely need some pruning. And you'll be proud Jacques. I put in some alyssum down this oh, row here. Very nice. And I also threw cucumbers in over there oh, as an inner plant. You to really test want that to out. try that. Yeah, I'm I really want to, to try that, that out. Too. So let's go ahead and get some snips let's and get to it. it. This is a big old bag of tomato twine, but I didn't know you could do this shot. There's a belt loop on the back. There's a belt loop. So you you're going to strap it to your body. Boom. Honestly, I have to say I doubted, and now I don't doubt because that actually seems pretty it's handy. It's really annoying. That actually, actually seems pretty handy. When you do it, it's like dragging. So I put in. Um, this isn't like my my best application of a Florida weave because I had different size T posts here, eight and seven feet, but I feel like the middle ones are probably fine to be at this height. Totally. And they're in about two feet total because I'm I'm six four. This is an eight foot tall post, so it's in over two feet. Right. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, I did the same thing when I had the seven. Since I already had the eight sunk deeper, yeah. I just left this one not as deep. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's doing most of the work. What did I end up putting in here? From the Princip. Oh yeah, the Borghese. <laughs> Borghese. Actually taking a good deal of, there's a lot of suckers down there actually. Yeah, I feel like there's so much leaf mass now that you could probably go pretty hard. Yeah, I can go pretty hard. I think I'm gonna take a hybrid approach compared to last year of taking every sucker off always. Yeah. I think up to about at least a foot right now, you could take every sucker off. Once you get past about two, and this is trellis out, I think just let it rip. I agree. You know, like this was a significant sucker that I just removed. So yeah, would it have been better if I took this off earlier? For sure. but. Just didn't have the time. That Changed my strategy here too. Oh yeah, would you? I'm what gonna are you actually doing? go low, and instead of weaving it in between, I'm gonna just do a basket, like just do a line straight up instead of intertwining. Oh and really? Just bring it in because it's a little bit loose on the bottom. The only thing I like about the intertwine is when you wrap it to the next post, you can crank it yeah. and force it to yeah. come in. Yeah. I'm gonna do an intertwine on the top layer, yeah. but I want to do a cleanup on the bottom first. And I'm actually seeing down here, which you're never gonna avoid on the stem, I see either powdery or one of the other fungal diseases. So it's, it's a good thing, at least right now, that I'm clearing out some of that plant matter. But what you'll notice is I didn't remove anything except for this one right here that had a flower cluster that was already developed. I, I left this one right here, which is the first flower cluster on the plant that's setting nice cherries as well as this one right here. And so, yeah, this does look a little sparse right now, but I think especially as you let this rip up and you let these suckers here grow, 
production's gonna be fine. And it's not like I'm trying to maximize every single one because I have 20, so. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. Looks like we might have a little treat here. <laughs> I think this is sun gold. There, yeah, there are double sun gold somewhere around there. Oh yeah. It's ripe. A day early maybe. A day early, you can tell from that far away? Yeah. I'll tell you, <laughs> it's just right. What are your, what's your perspective on giving chickens tomato scraps? So you can't give them leaves. Can't give them leaves because of it's the- It's toxic. Yeah, that's what I figured. But they do love tomatoes. Yeah. Throw them some fruit in another episode, guys, they go wild for it. Tomatoes are done. We actually have a really exciting project. You've probably seen it by now on our main channel, but there are four more sweet potato whiskey barrels to plant out. And we actually got official Jack Daniels half barrels. <laughs> and it's not one of those marketing things because it looks like it's actually made in the USA and these things look aged and you just did a drill. Yeah, when you drill it, you could definitely tell there was whiskey in there. Yeah, I'll tell you I, that saw much. Jock, I saw Jock <laughs> trying to lap it up. It was kind of awkward, <laughs> it was kind of weird, but. I'm just inhaling the fumes. What we're trying to do here is because it's so heavy when you fill it, there's not a really easy way to like move it. My thought at least is you start laying them like, one's here, you go maybe between the lights there, you know, and, okay. and keep rolling them down this way. We could put them a little closer than this because yeah. we have five of them. Just leave enough space for a wheelbarrow. Yeah, space for a wheelbarrow, like 30 inches or so, and then there, maybe goes here. Yeah. All these we want to level, and then you're, you're saying it's a good idea to raise them slightly? Yeah, because it's wood on the bottom, yeah. so if it sets wet, this will just break down faster. Do you think, I mean, do you think, how, it's an oak barrel, right? One season, what do you one think? One season, it'll probably be fine, especially in our climate. One <laughs> season, I wet. think one season, let's just leave it. Okay. That Maddox. Nice to be in San Diego, gotta say. It's only yeah. like 72 degrees today. I know. I think this is a half inch drill bit. So if you do a half inch drill bit, or something like a wine barrel, you probably want at least nine holes. If you use a bigger drill bit, like three quarter inch, you could probably get away with just six. So I'm gonna start with probably a couple, like two in the middle and then do a ring around the edge. And you could definitely have not enough holes, but you probably can't have too many holes. Ooh. Yeah, right? <laughs> I go oh. in for a second deeper one. Hold on, I'll be back. I got a bottle to hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting though. Smells, smells good. real good. It smells like good whiskey. And I don't even like whiskey that much, but it smells real good. Yeah, honestly. Okay, so if you've seen the main channel video, I, I encourage you to watch that because it's going to be a repeat, but just a little more casual potting soil. You want a nice loose mix here. Only way we're doing that is by adding a little bit of sand. So this is a half bag of paper sand. And then I gotta go grab some compost. And then we're gonna use Jacques' favorite method for mixing the soil up, <laughs> the power planter. All right, so we have our placements. I think it looks pretty dang good. Eventually we're gonna get a refresh of the mulch on the ground. And then Jacques' gonna be putting in, we debated going between the Garden straw, which you know we love. Actually guys, pretty soon, we just finally got this confirmed, but we will have the big bag on the store pretty soon. Uh, and you'll save a little bit of money if you go with the big bag on a per cubic basis. So stay tuned for that. But I actually opted to go with the micro bark here because I just think the aesthetic on a, on a whiskey barrel yeah. is just kind of nice, I mean, you know? Look at that. It actually does look pretty nice. Looks pretty clean. It's a different and I think, brown. Like the closer you are to the home, for me, the more I want it to look like a decorative planter and the less I want it to look like a farm. That's just me, you know? Um, so I think it's gonna look good. I'm just kind of coming around and- It already looks good, actually. I rounding like a little bit of this stuff out here. And then we have some more okra and we have some more peppers to put in those two beds right there. All right, we have two more beds to plant out. Feels like it's never ending. We have <laughs> yeah, too much space here, honestly. Okay, so the okra is gonna go in a different bed. These are some of our remainders from Jim Duffy, yep. who we, we saw last year, actually. Some of you guys saw that. So why don't we just start getting these in? Chile de Agua, Perfect. excited about that one. We have the Farmer's Market Jalapeno. Actually, I'm very, very excited, excited about, about this, because this yeah. last year, this one didn't do so well. And the cool part about this one is that it's sort of a little bit bigger jalapeno, but the corking, which is our, those like white lines, go horizontal and vertical, and they go all over the jalapeno. And according to Jim, at least, it's like a little bit of a sweeter jalapeno, apparently. It looks really cool. Roots look I great here. And we have seven peppers. Aji pineapple. 
Oh, nice. Two yellow pecan peppers. Oh, I'm excited about that. And then uh, pimento cajo? Cajo. 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 And Saraga giant sweet chocolate. Oh, I know you we were have that? Yeah, 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 nice. Okay, okra on the other one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alrighty. Let's pop them. In we go. Annie Oakley okra. Yeah, later uh, when we do the okra guide, we'll talk about spanking the okra. Yeah, yeah, you gotta spank these boys. <laughs> you'll, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out. Jock's all about it. <laughs> and then I think uh, eventually we'll add some flowers in here. Yep. It's gonna Every really nice. bed now here at the homestead is officially planted out. There's like half of one bed in the front. Let's get a little clap. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Glad to be back. Stay tuned. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing. Spank that okra.